Welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. <clears throat> you can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a psychic medium, tarot card reader, animal communicator, and mindfulness coach. So this is your intuitive tarot reading and channel message for January 18th through the 24th. I had to look down at the date. And the message from my spirit guide team is this. Be your most authentic self that you can be this week. So as you move through the week from January 18th through the 24th, really look and see where you might not be true to yourself and who you really are. Look where fear pops up and keeps you from kind of being your true self or saying what you really want to do or feel, you know, not out of you know anger and love, but just out of just truth and, and who you are. So, so there's your spiritual message. So now let's look at the cards for the week using the um, Tarot of Dreams cards from Tudor Market. So what can you expect? How can you best navigate it? And then how can you grow? What might you be able to learn? So for this week, the 18th through the 24th, what can you expect energy-wise? Faith card. So this is definitely some Taurus energy. Um, you know, this is you know strong, um, powerful. I'm saying Taurus, but I feel like it's not Taurus. That's so interesting that I'm not coming up with this. And I'm looking at the symbol. I'm going, I know what that symbol is. So there could be confusion about what you're expecting, especially from this card being the faith card. This is often our leaders, our teachers. This can be dogma. This can be, you know, stuff that's going on in the world right now. So there could be, and the number five is about a lot of change. And we know there's some change coming up in the U.S. this coming week. How can you best, na no matter what, how can you best navigate that energy? Oh, like a rock star. This is definitely Leo energy. You know, be vigilant, be strong, be passionate. You know, this is being your authentic self. Raise your hand and just, you know, be the most successful, positive thing that you can be this week. And then what might you learn? How might you grow? What might you be able to manifest this coming week? The world card and into things. So this is really pretty powerful. I think for especially what's going on, the world card, because let's look at this, you know, faith, leadership, dogma, you know, belief systems, this person standing up on a balcony, raising their hands like victory, like success, Leo energy, and then the world talking about the world this week, there's definitely a world stage going on. But this is also about completions and endings. So definitely be your authentic self, especially with all that's going on in our world, you know, with just from political to, you know, the pandemic to whatever it is, and just try to continue to be that positive, successful stuff with your immediate community, you know, because as you do that, then that energy will vibrate out and affect the rest of the world, that beautiful butterfly effect. So, all right, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Bart's talking to us. Bart agrees with that. So check out my website, MitchellOsborne.com. You can grab a reading or a spread. I am booked out about a month right now. Um, so yeah, namaste. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.